Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. What I'm going to be doing today is a uh, little, little bit more on the TRX. I'm going to be fitting these things, as you can see. Just came today, so as the parts come through the post, uh, I'll just keep doing videos to suit. Yeah, just came in a little package like this. They're really fragile uh, and they wear quite a few bends in them, so I had to straighten them out. Uh, but they're not too bad. Comes with some M3 sticker, so you could just stick them on if you wanted to, but I'm gonna just drill them on. <coughs> it just looks a little bit more, it looks right when you see the the dome heads of the screws. This is where I got them from. You can see that. Rotec TRX4 uh, stainless steel bumper set, there's the number. And as a website, uh, gpmracing.com.h Hong Kong HK. Yeah, and I'll leave the price in the uh, description below if you're interested in buying the things. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the TRX in a moment. But I'm going to get these fitted up first to the bumper, and then I'll tell you what I've done so far to the TRX because this is an ongoing thing. Uh, whether I've done any more upgrades. Yeah. So the tools I'm going to need is screwdriver with a tiny bit, I don't know what size that is uh, I just use one of these type of things it doesn't matter, it's just a cheap set I don't I don't know what size it is, I just match it up but the screws are really small, they're about one millimetre diameter threads so just make sure you get a small uh, and also the drill I'm using I didn't think it would fit into this chuck but it has this one's 0. I think 0. 0.7 something, so it's quite small. I didn't think it was going to fit in, but it does. So I'm happy about that. Uh, so you're going to need that, or you could stick it on, or you could just uh, use a hand drill if you've got a hand drill. But that's be really small, right, guys? So I just pop my drill in. This is the bumper. We'll get this done first and then we'll have a look at what it looks like on top. Uh, again these are stainless steel but they're very thin. That's how it's going to go, this type of thing. I think it'll just make it look a little bit better. I have ordered some uh, side parts and then where the running boards go but they haven't turned up yet. So I'm not going to put the sticker on. I just don't think you need to. Don't need a cleaner, don't need to do anything. I'm just going to pop them on and get them fitted. Just make sure that they don't overhang. That looks pretty, pretty nice. Now you could use some tape, but I'm just going to drill them, get them sorted. I haven't got time to uh, mess about too much. So what I'm going to do is just hold it in the corner and then I'm just going to pop a hole through one, get one screw in and then go from there. Guys, that's it done. Cut the, I'm going to cut the video, get the TRX up here, get it fitted, and I'll tidy up a little bit and have another look at it. Okay, back shortly. Right, guys, got the TRX on the bench. There it is, there. Looks pretty sweet. Happy with the, the results. 
what it looks like. Uh, obviously I've got checker plate on the front of the, the bonnet uh, and I've also got some checker plate coming along the sides but yeah it looks nice. Uh, the screws look like rivets, uh, gives you that 3D like effect uh, and it just takes away this stock bumper, it looks a little bit boring. Uh, you can see the screws through there. Yeah. Before I put it on, I printed out a, a trailer hook or hitch. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this one yet. Uh, if anyone's interested, I will leave a link to the description where you can print this one out. Uh, I've also went down the road of this type of thing, but I've got a I don't know the, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a it's like a clamp. And the clamps on to so there's different ways you can have it. I don't know really you know yet. Uh, for me, the other way is a bit low. So yeah, looks pretty nice. So we pop this on, and then obviously these screws go in. Shut the body on. Have a little look. Yeah, it's all right. I can't remember where, this, where they were, so the body might be a little bit weird, but just two pins go all the way through. Uh, I was going to change this bumper because when you it catches on a lot of things when you're driving, so but I'm trying not to spend as much. I'm trying to keep the things which I don't really need to get rid of. Uh, so that's on. Before I put the body on, there's a few things I want to talk about for the next video uh, while I'm here. Just update things. As you can see, uh, these cable ties, I've left them all loose because I'm doing some wiring for the, the, the lights. I haven't got the light kit yet, but it's going to be uh, Forward lights, reverse lights, indicators, things like that, signals. We've noticed a few, probably a few changes uh, if you've been watching the series. I've left these out like that because I want to run some more cables through and then tidy them all up. Yes, I've left them all loose. I put 3D printed out one of these switches, which works actually fantastic. I was fed up with putting the body kit on, putting the clips in, and then uh, realizing I haven't switched it on. Uh, because what happens is the fans come on and it, you just think oh, I've got power and I forget so I've printed one of them out, they're fantastic if you can't print one out you can buy them uh, but I'll just print one out I've printed out a little cover for the fan to protect the fan from getting damaged by any wires or cables might drop onto it or maybe something moves and that goes into the fan or something don't know, that gives a bit of protection uh, and these are all from Thingiverse Thingiverse, Thingiverse. I'm waiting for a fan cover to come for this one because I did have one of these on there. In fact, that is there. But I've I bought a different one, and when that comes, I'll show you that one. Uh, so that's one thing. I put a different heatsink on, a one with a fan. So that's about it really for that. And you notice this thing here, uh, which looks a bit strange. <laughs> I want this, what I'm doing with this, I'm, I'm trying to tidy the wires up, so what I've decided to do, and I will put some uh, covering on there, and I'll put this type of covering on, so you can see that through, through there, just to make it all look nice and neat and keep it away from any push rods or pull rods or anything. Uh, this is a, a junction box for my power, for, me, for the lights or for anything I want to drive, so me winch is powered from here uh, all the lights are going to be powered from here anything the fans so i've got two fans will be powered from this bit so what i've done is from your power supply i'm not going to go into too much detail because I've, i'll do the wiring kit as well i've run the power from here runs along here from from these wires just inside the uh, there runs along and there's a, there's a junction box in here which i can uh, tap into which i'll show later on later on another uh, another video so when I do the lights uh, I'm gonna have these as positive and negative if that makes sense 
yeah so I'll run wires from here up these so that's negative that one's positive when I drop the the body on there'll be two points inside which I've already done and it works which will light up the the body so I don't need to keep plugging things in I just drop the drop it on and it'll switch itself on uh, can't show you that now because I've got all stuff on the body but underneath the body there's there's two circles which run to the the lights and then when you drop it on uh, they just they just make contact uh, very simple just easy to do and I'll show you that later on uh, in another video so there's there's that if you can see in fact I'll pick the video up video camera up I'll just pan around so you can see okay yeah it looks pretty good definitely looks better and you can see the wires actually from this fan run along the side and there uh, I'll, I'll have all these uh, in that sheath and so it looks black so it looks a lot neater uh, but yeah I think that's to the look what I'll do is I'll pop the body on now I'm going to have a little look at the body and see if it uh, see if it makes any difference just before then I've done one other thing with that dung as you can see can you see through there see that brass so I've added some portal axle weights which uh, I said I was going to do I haven't done a video of it because I wanted to try them out to see whether they're any good uh, now I'll confirm that they're brilliant, they work, they go together excellent. I'm going to buy two more for the back and I'll do a video of the back ones. So that's just to show you that they're on. Uh, I might see that one better, I don't know. And they do add to the weight. Uh, and they do add to the look as well. So yeah, I'm slowly, slowly getting there guys. So what I'm going to do is pop the video back and I'll get the the body we pop the body on have a little look yeah just bear with me it should go on okay now if you just give us a second till I sit back on my seat so what I was saying before I can't turn this over because but underneath, underneath here, if you can see, underneath the, these points, there's uh, some uh, steel or, or aluminium clips, which is clip on. Now, I'll show you that later anyway. So, let's see if we, what this looks like. It's a bit awkward to get on when it's on the stand. It's a bit of a pain, because it keeps moving. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll take it off the stand. Ugh. I'll tell you something, the stand adds some weight to it, which I like. A lot of people don't want the weight on, but there you go. That's not down properly yet, because that's it. Okay, so. Ugh. I don't know if you can see that. In fact, I'll get, the, I'll get the cam now and I'll just pan it around because I haven't got much space here. Let's just see if I can get that back on the stand. Ugh, it's getting heavy now. Right, that's okay. Right, there you go. So that's a nice, nice angle. I don't think I've set this up properly, so I might need to move this. Uh, no, like the bumper goes in and out. But straight away it's it's shiny I like shiny things so it looks quite nice I mean you can't see it great in fact the middle part you can hardly see it all but still worth doing uh, and there's the trailer part myself I just it goes down to a low so I probably won't use that I'll probably end up using something like this. Something like that. So the trailer just 
joins on there. I think that looks better, and it means you don't have to keep taking on off. So, yeah, another little daft mod, but it seems to be working. Seems to look nice. And I've got loads and loads to tidy all this up. I haven't even screwed. I haven't even fixed these on properly yet. I just don't have the time. One other thing you can probably notice, and it does add it. There's the front part there, so it's the same same checker pattern. That's why I went for that. Uh, don't know why that's there. And I do need to work out where to put all these things. But I'll put some light on the top. Uh, the guy sent me the wrong ones. He sent me the ones which uh, the like a place one, red and blue, flashing, which I didn't want. I just wanted white. So what I ended up doing is I took all the LEDs out uh, and I just resold my own LEDs in. Uh, so now they're just white. But they had these like blue and orange covers in, or red covers. So now they're just the LEDs on the own, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, so if I put a battery in now, they would just light up because the wires run to to this top here. Just there. So there's two points, two wires, and I'll show you that later on when I come to do the main lights, which I'm looking forward to doing because they do they do add to the realism. Uh, I'm looking at the front of you whether it's worth getting check plate for here or is it too much, guys? I think it just might look got silver on I think I'll probably leave that I am going to get checker plate for here and maybe change these to metal ones uh, or aluminium at least put the door handles on as you can see they're nice need to paint them up and some checker plate down here and a fuel cover a fuel filler cap and I think uh, that's about it really once you get the checker plate here and here don't go too much uh, and then I'm looking forward to doing a bit of painting Getting all painted up. Uh, so, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with the look of it. Uh, I just need to get them lights in. There was something else I was going to... Oh, yeah. Uh, the trailer I'm doing. I'm going to do a full episode on the trailer because uh, I've got some wheels. I've got, some, I've got an axle. Uh, some leaf springs and such. I might decide to put... A spare tire on the front. I think it looks quite well. What do you guys think? Well, this is not the right size, as you can see. So it's a bit, quite a bit smaller. But you can't put one of these ones on because they're too big. Uh, and in reality, the guy wouldn't have to see any driving out of there anyway. In fact, he wouldn't see much anyway when you're going up bank. But, uh, and that's why you've got to look out the windows, but I think it looks, it adds to the look. Uh, is it too much? I don't know. Certainly won't help, won't, won't hurt to have the weight up front. Uh, now I've got two spare ones because I bought four for the trailer. Uh, now the trailer is going to be awkward, that's another thing I'm going to do a, a, a video on. I don't want to get too much detail anyway. So guys, what do you think? Uh, please let me know in the comment whether you like this little bit of a mod I can't get on that way you can see a little bit of a check plate there I think it looks nice it, it also it's nice to see the I've painted these up as well and also the screws on there just uh, looks a bit fancy yeah so I'm, I'm quite happy with that it wasn't much money I think they're about seven pounds or something and one thing definitely the door handles and a definite definite upgrade I'm going to do next which I can't wait to do is the door hinges in black and also the bonnet hinges I need to get them on because it just makes it look far better uh, and then maybe a couple of guys have asked me uh, what I'm going to do about the windows uh, now I think they look crap the windows I don't like them uh, TRX, they shouldn't have done this. They should have went a little bit more and had clear windows. But I understand why, because then you need an interior and it starts to become... It's time consuming. So for now, they'll do. But I am definitely going to look into this later on. Uh, once I've finished it all, 
and I'm going to start using it then I will look at the windows our windows so next we're going to get some more of these uh, portal covers I mean there's the the plastic ones I took out so there's loads of weight on the other ones and I'll do a video showing you how to put the other ones on it's literally a two minute job uh, and then I've got myself some axles to, so I've got to make I've got to make the axle for the for that which is all in bits at the moment uh, I haven't figured out how to make the axle yet but I've got the tyres I mean there's that's the tyres so I'm going to use these I've got some more parts coming then I can make myself an axle up and get the trailer painted up and, and such uh, probably do it in black uh, oh guys hope you like this video if you do thumbs up uh, any comments leave in the description below uh, and I'll get back to you if you've got anything thanks guys thanks for watching cheers